Hey guys, it's Tyler here from PBS Tuning. Uh, thanks for watching again. Uh, look, I've got a, um, we've just flexed tuned our uh, first 2022 BRZ. Um, we've done a lot of individual tuning, like 98 and straight E85, but this is the first uh, customer kit. We did it to our BRZ first just to do all the testing, but this is our first customer kit on, uh, now this is obviously an NA one, this one, it's not turboed. Um, so the car is, pretty like it's virtually standard very very basic mods we've got our flex tune kit very uh nice plug and play one as well so it is a lot more simplified than the old kit we don't have to make up little fittings and um it comes with a nice mounting bracket and everything it's a lot more well it's well thought out this one compared to the old one in some ways um but the mods on the car honestly they've got the drop-in hks panel filter all these parts were through race fix um it's just easy they've always got them on the shelf um the four to two to one sme headers also through race fix so four to two to one headers over pipe and front pipe so and this particular car has a standard rear exhaust system because he didn't want uh didn't want noise for you know he lives in a quiet residential area so he didn't want the noise of it uh, but this guy does a hell of a lot of track days so hence why he was, he was really hanging out for the e85 side of it so um yeah, it went so well. Um, it tuned up great. Once, because we'd already done the 98 tune, all I had to do was do a quick run over and make sure it was everything was fine. And then the flex tune, um, it's got a lot more tunable features than the the, the old two liter uh, setup. The ECU design or the patch maps are a little more user friendly and they're a little bit more, uh, you've got a little bit more control in a few areas with individual um, fueling maps and time maps that are a little bit nicer. So. Yeah, the whole thing came together fantastic. So really, really happy with it. So we'll pop over to the, um, to the screen and I'll just show you the difference in uh, the two tunes. All right, so easiest way to show you is uh, to physically show you rather than explain it all. Um, but on our 98 tune, so the 98 tune is in our orange, uh, sorry, orange, um, our purple dotted line there. Um, I'm a little bit colorblind, so have to forgive me. And I think that's green, and that's our E85 line. So, um, yeah, so we made about 160 on our 98 uh, tune. Uh, again, same headers, same everything. It's literally, we've just done the flex on top. Um, that is pretty normal. So anything around the 160 to even high or mid 160s depending on the day that's kind of what we've been seeing so it's about a 10 uh 10 to 15 kilowatt gain from standard normally they're about anywhere from 145 one high 140s uh to mid 140s and as you can see the e85 one is basically just another you know 10 or 15 kilowatt above it again very similar results that what we saw with the two liter so everything's just up that 10 to 15 kilowatt um, but it's right through the rev range. So we actually, on this particular one, we end up getting 176 at the hubs and 282 newton meters of torque, which is heaps. This is very similar, similar power. Actually, this is probably the, the highest one we've had on here, E85 wise. Um, similar to, to the, um, more power than what I had actually when I um, punched out some track days late last year in, in our BRZ when, before I turboed it. So yeah, so this thing should go really, really well. He'll be stoked with it, I think um yeah so massive difference between the two and yeah and that's the benefit of the whole ecutech race from software you can there are there will be other software on the market but honestly spend that little bit more go the whole flex thing especially if you're tracking it because it does make a massive difference it's a little bit safer on the engine everything just feels a little livelier so and it does generate a lap time so we've tested this and there's a good there'd have to be three quarters of a second a lap in it i think so yeah, no, really happy with the results, and uh, I think the customer is going to be stoked. So, yeah, we'll keep you informed with some uh, some more customer cars coming through. But honestly, any questions about parts, you can contact Alec at Race Fix um, Parts, or you can always give us a buzz for some advice as well. And um, yeah, got any questions? Give us a call. All right, thanks for watching.